Well, hello everybody, it's Axel here from Axel is Julie Entertainment, and today I'll be discussing the timeline and, uh, cr uh, cr uh, and theories, bleh, on uh, popular MMOs, The Crafting Dead. Ta-da! Uh, and since the pop uh, popular MMOs has no playlist for this for my episode uh, timeline, I'm using Hero Blind Skyblock's uh, tan uh, channel because he has it in a playlist. Uh, so it makes it much easier to show all the episodes. Uh, and if you don't want to be spoiled, uh, if you just want to hear the theories about the Crafting Dead, either a you've already uh, read, uh, you've already watched every video, and you don't want to re uh, run of all the character and all the storyline stuff, or you're new and you don't want it to get spoiled to you. Skip ahead to the time on screen right now to the part where I start talking about my theories. So, let's start the timeline. Okay. Episode 1. Uh, well, Pat and Jen are traveling. Uh, they're in the... Well, trust me. Uh, I'm going to get the first few episodes wrong, probably, because I can't remember them perfectly. Uh, so, uh, bleh, I am not... I can't even English today. Pat and Jen are exploring through the wilderness and being attacked by zombies. Uh... Within the first episode, they find a bunker, which contains the first two characters we're met, and we meet in the show. Uh, good old The Disguised Man and Carter. The Disguised Man is a man who's disguised as a zombie as to make the zombies not eat him. And Carter is a character who's just like Jen, but is male. He's like a boy Jen, basically, and he looks just like Steve. Uh, and so... They meet with him, and they establish a team together, and they're like, yay. Uh, so for these next, it, well, the goal of the series is to find the killer, the one who's controlling all the zombies and killing people. Uh, and that's pretty much the goal of the entire series. Uh, so every, nobody knows who it is. For these next uh, five episodes, well, like six episodes, uh, they go around dis uh, exploring structures and finding uh, loot and stuff. And they're starting to learn a little more of the story. They learn that Carter and uh, the Disguised Man used to have a friend named... Oh, no, that's not till next in the series, actually. I believe. Let me see. do 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 Yeah, I think uh, that's not till later. So they end up finding a base where a bunch of the zombies live, and they nuke it. Uh, in... Uh, Pat and Jen get tired of living in a hole in the ground. So they build airplanes and fly off into the uh, sky, and they fly to a desert where they find an army base. In this army base uh, comes the next few characters in the series. There's Boulder. He's like a 12-foot tall guy. He's a military soldier, and he's all around like buff and cool and stuff, and he uh, defends the base. There's Valentine, the elf archer who protects the base by uh, sniping stuff. Uh, uh, there's Dr. Haas, uh, who's a doctor that Pat and Jen do not believe that they're a doctor, uh, he's a doctor, but I believe that he's a doctor, and, uh, I think, is that it? I believe so, and, uh, they've left Carter and Jen, uh, in, uh, in the disguised man behind, at this point we don't know what's gonna happen to them, and at the base they learn of one guy named Bob who died, uh, apparently to the zombies, uh, and they, they're like, they plan on attacking a village nearby because the village is the group's rivals. Uh, so Jen and Pat go and destroy the village, but then all the villagers come and move in with them. And that brings our next characters into the series. There's the mayor. He has not much personality. Uh, he, well, he doesn't have a lot of personality. He's mostly just the mayor of the village. He's a 12-foot tall green villager. Uh, there's Chad. He is, uh, he's a weirdo. He collects the skulls of dead people, especially his family. Like, uh, in his chat, uh, he has a chest of skulls that he washes. And most notably, there's Uncle Chewy. You're gonna want to remember Uncle Chewy the skull. Uh, uh, Hot Dog the dog. Ex-girlfriend Bertha. And a few other skulls he has in there for his family. Uh, then there's Lemmy. He's a villager who hates Jen and thinks that Jen is the killer. So, uh, it's a huge rivalry there. Uh, and is that it? Uh, let me think. Uh, hmm. 
Oh, yeah, there's Jellybean, who's a weirdo who speaks in a, like, a, uh, he speaks in third person. He's always weird and stuff. And finally, there's Skittles, which is uh, Jellybean's brother, I believe, who's pretty much the same. Jellybean's kind of like a ripoff of Skittles. I, no, uh, yeah, Jellybean, no. Jellybean is a ripoff, no, Skittles is a ripoff of Jellybean. Jellybean's the cool one, and Skittles isn't all that cool. Uh, so all those villagers move into there. And over the time, we, uh, they're looking for the killer. They find hidden bases of pink wool, which make them think that it's Jen. But then it's revealed that Valentine, the archer, was the killer all along. And he, like, kind of bribes them, saying that it's all bad and stuff. But then it's revealed that actually uh, Valentine was not the villain all along. Because back here, uh, it turned out that some people were being hypnotized with mind control dust. And it turned out Bob, who everyone thought was dead, was alive all along. And Bob was orchestrating things from behind the scenes. Uh, oh, uh, and I, I think I mentioned this, but uh, when the villagers came, Carter and the disguised man also came to the base, so they're all there. Uh, so they thought Valentine was evil, and it turned out to be Bob. In the end, they go to Bob's base in episode 20 and blow it up with a nuke, supposedly destroying Bob. Now, you think it would be over, but they continue going around, uh, and it turns out there's a real uh, killer, uh, but they don't know who. And suddenly, everybody in their great base turns evil. Uh, because of the mind control dust, and they end up killing everybody, which makes them really sad. Uh, but don't get too disappointed, because it turns out those were all robots, the robotic versions of the real people. All of the team, all of the villagers, and uh, well, all of the villagers and all of the uh, people, Doctor Haas, uh, Boulder, the uh, mayor, everyone, they're okay, but they're being held by the true killer. So at first we thought it was Valentine, turned out he's being hypnotized by Bob, turns out Bob was just an underling, uh, and Bob turned out to have been alive and was being held by his mother, his mother was talking to him, and they ended up killing, a, uh, killing Bob and Bob's mother, so they're both dead. But then they go to the end and find the true killer who'd taken all their friends captive, and it turns out the real killer was Hero Brian. Dun dun dun! And Hero Brian's like, I'm gonna kill all of you, mwah ha ha ha. And Jen and Pat end up saving all their friends. And after, uh, right around the time when it turned out Bob was the killer, uh, some of the, uh, there was a huge amount of distrust because everybody uh, didn't know, uh, they didn't know who they could trust. Anyone could be a robot or be being hypnotized. So uh, the disguised man, Skittles, Jelly Bean, and uh, they all moved to, uh, those three all moved to a new house a, uh, a little while away from the base. And uh, But they're still a major part of the series. They just live in another house. And the disguised man got a pet, a pet iron golem named Honey Boo Boo. And that gave uh, the disguised man a lot of character. He went from just being a guy who uh, dresses up like a zombie to be a guy uh, who uh, loves his pet Honey Boo Boo. And uh, so... Hero Brian's first attempt at destroying them was uh, yeah, he created Evil Jen. Evil Jen is a copy of Jen that looks identical, except she has bigger lips and is evil. Uh, so, uh, Hero Brian started destroying stuff, and Evil Jen was destroying stuff. But then a big thing happened Evil Jen stole, well, kidnapped the disguised man in Honey Boo Boo. And that was really bad, and she said she was going to kill them if uh, they, uh, Pat and Zen didn't start working for her. So they had to work with her to keep their friends alive by sabotaging their own team. And uh, so it was pretty bad because uh, they had to sabotage their own team. And eventually their team decided not to trust them anymore because they thought Pat and Zen was the bad guys, even though Pat and Zen were just working for Evil Zen because Evil Zen had them... Uh, uh, the disguised man and Honey Boo Boo captured. So they're all like, we don't trust you, Pan Zen. We're going to go work with Evil Zen. She's obviously the good guy. Duh. Just because her name's Evil Zen doesn't mean she's evil. And uh, so they go over and they uh, they work with Evil Zen uh, for half an episode. Then Pat and Zen come in. They kill Evil Zen once and for all. 
and the team's like, okay, I guess uh, that uh, you're good because you killed evil Jin. She must have been evil. So they went back to trusting Pat and Jin. Uh, and they went. They ended up in this episode saving. Uh, they saved. Bleh. They saved Honey Boo Boo and the disguised man from their cage. Hooray! Yeah, yeah, yay! Uh, and at the same time, you see this little ogre guy here. Uh, a team of like ogres came up and joined them on their crusade. Uh, these guys aren't real ogres. They're basically the undead. If someone's died. Uh, and they become an ogre. So we got an ogre for a girl named Sally, uh, who has barely any personality. A uh, blah, 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 a doctor named Doc Brown, who's uh, obviously a joke on the Back to the Future series. He doesn't have much personality either. Then there's Crazy. He's that stereotype character that is like, ooh, is all stupid and can't make sentences like. Me no want bread, uh, for example. He's one of those characters. And finally, one ogre named Uncle Chewy. Well, just Chewy. So, yeah, uh, there's Uncle Chewy. And as you may remember, one of Chad's skulls is Chewy. Uh, well, Uncle Chewy. Uh, so, we know that's his dead uncle. And so, they start helping. They said they were sent to keep the team alive. Uh, they, uh, they're helpers. So, Uncle Chewie ends up going with, uh, looking like, hey, this is a weird skull, and he's uh, he doesn't realize that he's actually looking at his own skull. That's one of the running jokes from that episode onward. He's just holding his own skull, and he's like, hmm, this looks familiar for some reason. And so, Herobrine comes, and he uh, destroys the ogre's base partially, but Pat and Jen go and uh, set out the fires and stop Herobrine. So everything's good for there, but Herobrine says that he's going to kill all of their friends. And now for episode uh, 37. Uh, so before the episode begins, we don't get to see this, but Herobrine attacks the base. And uh, Boulder punches Herobrine in the face so hard that Herobrine flies back several hundred feet through the air and far away from the base. And while he's flying back, he hits Lenny in the head and knocks him unconscious and badly injures Lenny. Uh, so as you can imagine, Herobrine is really pissed. Uh, so he's like, well, I'm gonna uh, uh, steal uh, Skittles. And he, so he kidnaps Skittles and puts him in a cage. And they're like, oh no, we gotta get Skittles back. And they go, and they find Herobrine had a big cage of Skittles in it. And he's like, uh, Hero Brian's like, fine, I'm not too bad, you can have Skittles back, just flick the lever and it'll open the cage. And they're like, okay, and Jen flicks the lever, but it pulls out a piston and dumps Skittles in a pile of lava, killing him almost instantly. Uh, and uh, they're thoroughly distressed uh, that Skittles died because it was one of their friends. I'm honestly not too distressed because he had barely any personality at all, he was just a ripoff of Jelly Bean. Uh... Now, the next episode, crashing a funeral. Since all their friends are probably going to die to Hero Brian, the team builds a funeral, uh, well, a uh, cemetery. This one has four, uh, uh, four graves. The first one has Skittles in it. It features Skittles' skull and Skittles' long blue Skittle. The second one is Bob's grave. I can't remember what's in there. It's like rotten flesh. Uh, the third one is empty. And the fourth one is Bob's mom, uh, which has zombie flesh and a Hulk hammer in it. Uh, they're wondering why the third uh, gravestone is empty, and they go down. And inside is Herobrine, saying that he's going to kill all of their friends one by one, and they're upset about that. And finally, the most recent episode, which came out just 24 hours before I recorded this video, The Lava Pit of Doom. So, uh, the they go around, business is all usual, everything looks fine and they realize the ogre's uh, base is on fire. They see everyone, and Chewie is still in his uh, in Chad's house looking at his skull, and he's like, this might be my skull. He's finally realizing it. So they go over to the base to go check it out, uh, if the ogres are okay. And Herobrine's on the roof, and he's like, ha 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 ha, you have two minutes to save your friends or they will die. They're in a cage, but there's a pressure plate, and if you step on it, it'll free them all. And they're, they're running for the base as fast as they can looking for it. Because uh, they only have two minutes before they all die. 
And with like 30 seconds to go, they find them in the basement, which is uh, right over a giant abyss. It's like a giant mine underneath the base. Like the entire chunk was mined out. Uh, and they're like, oh, okay, let's save them. And Jin starts breaking the uh, bars. And Pat's like, we don't have enough time. We have less than 30 seconds to save them. So he jumps on the pressure plate. And all the pistons open up, dropping Sally, Crazy, and Doc Brown down into the mine which has been filled to the brim with lava. And Pat and Jen have to watch helplessly as Doc Brown, uh, uh, Sally, and, uh, blah, 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 and Crazy just die a slow, painful death because they had a lot of health. And so they're really upset about that. There's probably going to be three more gravestones. Though technically, since they were already dead, do do they really die because they were are they were technically undead, so they could kind of become undead again. I'm guessing they're kind of like an undead police force that just leaves Chewie left out of the ogres, and the other three are dead. And that's as far as we've gone in the series. We don't know what's going to happen with their base. Are they going to use the ogres' base? What's going to happen? And this is where we get to the theories and stuff of that nature. Uh, so, people who have died so far due to Herobrine. Skittles, uh, and... Skittles, uh, Crazy, Sally, and Doc Brown. They're all dead. Uh, so, I was thinking, what's the common trend between these four characters? None of them have any real personality. Uh, Skittles was just basically a copy of Jelly Bean, and those three ogres didn't really have much of a personality. Crazy had a bit of a personality, but it was just so stereotypical and boring that it was perfectly okay to kill them off. Chewie at least had a bit going for him. Has a bit going for him uh, because he's uh, finding that it's his real skull, and uh, that's a running joke in the series. So I thought to myself, who would that mean dies next? And I thought to myself, most characters have a good deal of character development already and are pretty uh, well-liked by a lot of people. And I thought, there's one character that has basically no personality at all. The mayor. So I think next the mayor is going to die. Other than the mayor, I can't really think of any character that it would be... De uh, that, uh, well, Chewie... Uh, Uncle Tui is a good candidate to die because he hasn't had enough time. He's only had like four episodes for character development so far, and all he's done is stare at his skull in disbelief. But other than that, all of the characters are pretty well liked. Carter would be horrible to kill Carter. I would hate that. The disguised man, he's awesome. Honey Boo Boo. The, uh, people would be so angry if they killed off Honey Boo Boo. She's like a total fan favorite in the series. She's just awesome in that. Uh, Lenny, a lot of people would be happy because Lenny hates Jen, but he's a pretty deep character, uh, though most of his character is just being angry at Jen and always blaming Jen. Valentine, uh, he's had a pretty big role, but at this point, his, role's, uh, his role at the beginning of the series was massive, now it's a lot smaller, so I can imagine him dying. Boulder is pretty cool, I wouldn't want him to die. Uh, Dr. Haas is probably, it might actually be my fa favorite character in the entire series. I'm not sure. Probably not, actually, but uh, I wouldn't, uh, I definitely wouldn't want Dr. Haas to die. Uh, so, other than the mayor, if they kill pretty much anybody, then it's going to be kind of a hard hit on the community who really loves this series. So my theory is that the mayor is next to die. And, uh, so... I think eventually, uh, I doubt they'll kill off everyone. The series will end with everyone dying. I assume probably maybe two or three more people will die, maybe four. But I doubt, like, uh, maybe even five. But I doubt more than five people are going to die in the series. Uh, and it's a pretty good thing they're killing off people. Because the series gotten kind of overwhelmed with so many uh, people. Uh, so it's good to kind of cleanse the series from... Uh, all the uh, characters and kind of start anew. Kind of like how at the beginning of the series uh, they uh, started uh, with Carter and the Disguised Man. Then they flew away and left them for about ten, uh, five, ten episodes and then they returned. Uh, 
So I can imagine this being good. Uh, I would be really upset if a lot of peop a bunch of cool people died. Uh, so I think they'll eventually kill Hero Brian, and just like what happened when they killed Bob, it's gonna turn out Hero Brian wasn't the true killer, and that there's someone even greater behind Hero Brian. Maybe like an evil notch or something. If you guys are watching Panzen, make evil notch an enemy. That would be pretty dang sweet. Uh, I don't know what else they could do. It's, I can't really think of any major theories I'd have for this other than who's going to die next in the story. Uh, so, uh, I, you know, they could bring an e another theory is that if they had an evil Jin, why not an evil Pat? That would actually be pretty interesting. Uh, since uh, there was an evil gen, so an evil Pat does make sense to eventually appear in the series. Uh, and I d another theory, I doubt they're gonna kill Jelly Bean because they already killed Skittles, and uh, the series about Jelly Bean would just be a lot less fun because Jelly Bean's one of the funnest characters out of the series. Uh, and I'd have to say that that's everything that I can. Uh, uh, think about for theories about uh, popular MMOs, The Crafting Dead. So I'd highly suggest you watch this, and it's a pretty good series. Leave comments below about what you think uh, will happen next, what theories do you have, uh, who's going to die, and hopefully uh, in the coming episodes I will explain what happens to those next. Uh, so a uh, big shout out to uh, Hero Brian Skyblock. As you can see right here about him, I wouldn't have this page. Uh, to look at all these so go check out his channel. He actually has more subscribers than me So he should be telling people to check out my channel. Hey, does he even have videos? Let's see. Nope. He's one of those people with no videos uh, but Yeah, so uh, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like a comment as I suggested uh, or maybe even if you really want to subscribe and uh, join the actual empire Please suggest more series for me to do timelines and theories on. I've already I've done the Crafting Dead and my little portal. Uh, so until next time, I'm Axel from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and goodbye.